Hello, folks. Gripe Daddy here. Did I just witness the President of the United States come out and say, you can keep... Oh, I'm, I'm confused. First it was, you can keep it, period. Hey, you can keep it. And then, of course, the letters come. You booted, you booted, you booted. You can't keep it. And now it's... Oh, wait, then Bill Clinton steps up to the plate and goes, you know, he really should honor it. So that, you know, after first, oh, went on a two-week tirade of, yeah, it was grandfathered in, this is what I meant, I meant to say this, I meant if the insurance guys wanted to keep you, you could keep it. Some nonsense bullcrap that literally, I don't, I, people that voted for this guy, I mean, really, this is a Harvard grad, folks. But he's a smart guy, gonna surround himself with smart people. Yeah. Libby's, man, Libby's. Let me tell you how stupid you people are. Then, after Clinton says, you know, he really should honor it, the guy steps up to the microphone and says, you know what? You can't keep it. I said it, and I'm gonna deliver. You can't keep it. Now, folks, anybody that actually believes what this guy says at this point, is a bovine moron. Do you understand that people have been working on the insurance industry, the entire industry, doctors, banks, have been working on this change for three years. Three years! And Obama comes up and says, no problem, you can keep it. Let me just call to make sure. I, let me call a guy now, as, as if there's one guy to call and go, oh yeah, they can keep it. Sounds good. Okay, bye. <laughs> The guy's living in La La Land, folks. It's La La Land. What are we doing? This guy's supposed to be leading our country. It's unbelievable. The guy has no clue. Literally says whatever will make somebody like him at that moment. It's so childlike. It's almost like the guy that wants to be loved by the group of kids. Hey, I want to fit in. I want to fit in. Obama, I got news for you, bro. You don't fit in and neither do any of your people. Nobody says, I'm the guy. Let me tell you how it happened. It happened because this, 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 and this. Well, why'd you make that date? Well, I made the date because this, because I wanted to you know, show them that I knew what I was doing. Very simple. I, I tried to you know, get it done. Couldn't get it done. But you can keep it. What? Try getting that through the insurance council of the United States, okay? Every insurance company is looking at Obama going, did he just say that Wait, I just sent out letters. We sent out letters to five million people. Okay, well, let's get the five million people out. You ever see one of those really, really packed uh, like college football games at like University of Michigan? There's like 100,000 people. Okay? Put like 50 of those together. That's how many people. They just said, hey. What? I, I <laughs> yeah, no problem. You can keep it. Uh, Clinton said, you know, I really should honor it, so I better honor it. Folks, I'm telling you, it's delusional, it's psychotic, it is literally childish. Please understand when Daddy speaks, this guy's no good. Gotta get rid of him. Daddy out.